The whole narrative of racism, right? He's racist. He's painting a racist narrative. That's, he's not attacking the boy's race or his mom being white or none of that. He's attacking his culture. And I'm going to give you an example from my own lens. I'm not speaking for Dot. From my own lens as why he lacks that culture. Because when someone gives you the line, Jeremy just displayed it beautifully right now. There's a line presented. Jeremy's like, you know what? I identify that line and I'm not with it. Right? When, it, when, when someone gives you a line and you like, well, shh, that means you lack cultural awareness and you don't have the wherewithal to understand the difference that this is a serious matter and this is just rap. It's, some things are not just rap. Some things are not hip hop. Some things are very personal. And when you lack cultural awareness, that then, is, that then allows you to violate those. Yep. All right. So there, there was a topic that came up during this whole battle about not being black enough, mm-hmm. not being kind of down with the culture, appropriating the culture um, and what makes you black and what doesn't make you black. So Drake was accused uh, by Kendrick of being a culture, culture. vulture, mm-hmm. not really being black. Now, there's debate over whether because he's, you know, mixed is the reason or because Canadian. his growing his growing up Toronto, experience yeah. having bar mitzvahs and <laughs> not really being like in any you know what I mean like what what makes you black <laughs> like what yeah. what makes you black <laughs> what, what what are they accusing him of doing here I mean based on what I heard Kendrick was saying he was pretty much saying that you don't really have like the hip hop culture in you and what you do is you find I guess blacker guys <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> and and do songs with them to give you street cred to give you a presence in the quote unquote black community which I feel like that was just a slant to you because before this beef, we never really heard anybody feel a certain kind of way about Drake doing songs of people. We never heard a race issue come up. We never heard any of those kind of things because his dad, his dad is black as I am. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and if he get pulled over by the police, he going to be black. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's, I don't know. I felt like Kendra was just taking an angle to try to be petty. That's what the whole beef was to me. It was like a TMZ on wax. It was like they were just trying to be petty and take shots at one another. It was more about let me try to destroy you as a human being more so mm-hmm. than it was about who can rap the best, really. And uh, I think it was just a slant. I don't think Drake is racist. I don't think he's using black people because if that's the case, yeah. then they're using him because right. they're doing a song with him because it's going to help their platform just as much as it's going to help his, if not more, you know? So I don't know. I think the question for me was like, th- that's that's Kendrick DJ that was talking. Okay. okay. So just to put it in perspective, um, but the thing for me was like, so was Tupac not cultural when he said that about Biggie's wife? Because basically what he's saying is, he's not saying he, because he was like, well, we're not talking about his race. We're talking about culture. And based off what he just said, it was you um, you didn't know that this was off limits. But since you're not part of the culture, it didn't matter to you. Yeah, but the culture doesn't agree yeah. with that. Exactly. That's when I was like, yeah. what? Like, like. Every battle we've seen it sounds like a backpedal. Yeah, but every 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 battle we've ever seen has been messy. Yeah. It's never been yeah. a battle that was yeah. like just unless you like like kind of like like one hundred six in part kind of battles. But yeah. back in the day, like every no, I'm just saying like even those were kind of rough. But I'm just saying like every like mainstream rap artist beef at times will make make sure. I mean now didn't bring some people didn't bring family into it. I remember Jay, like Jay Z and Nas kind of brung in people's families, but. Rather than that, like everything else would have been like that person to that person. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I think at the same time, it's like, unfortunately, Drake don't care. He just wanna make sure he went. You know yeah. what I mean? So I don't believe what he's saying. That's not that's not the reason Kendrick said that. He's saying it because his mom is white, grew up with the white mom. Now the problem is, is that so did J. Cole. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. So who is Black dad. Well, because yeah. they because so they feel like Kendrick's wife, Coach but, Kendrick's wife, go. has a white mom and a black dad. Well, and I so think did Obama. I think so I think I think the yeah. thing, Holly the, Berry. I so. think <laughs> I think the reason why they give J Cole a pass and not Drake is because J Cole is out there. He's yeah, he's, he's in the street. He's overtly street. black. He's yeah. in the street. He 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 stands up for when people were getting shot. Yeah, he's so out he's there. He's not that down with the cause. Means yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he just don't like Drake. <laughs> I mean, that's apparent. <laughs> you know but yeah. I think I think it's also like c- kind of alluding to what we were saying about J. Cole, right? Like, I think Drake has never really um, took a stance in anything for real. Like, yeah. um, that's going on with the culture. Not saying that he got to be an activist or anything like that. But I think um, just like 
the fact that he's never shown public support in any kind of way because he's always trying to you know he's trying to keep his brand like as clean as possible mm-hmm. he wants to reach as many people as possible yeah. so he doesn't want to he stays away from the politics in general really but um so is michael jordan not black no, i mean he black <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. but i mean that's undebatable because he got two what, black okay friends. We have, we have, um, but I don't. I don't think it's the mixed race thing. I think it's just his stances. We have, uh, we dope. have some. We have Zakia Simpson in the comments. She said, "Well, Drake said Lamar rap like he's trying to free the slaves. What black person would say that?" I would it say this. A, that was a mistake. That was yeah. a mistake. But if I was yeah, going against him, I would have used that. That's a, it was. Yeah, a poor, yeah, it was yeah. a poor choice of words. Yeah. Yeah, that's, because what it followed up after it because yeah, he was like, "You're, you're fake, fake. You're, you're fake." fake. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. He should have. Yeah. He should have written that better. I but mean, you, yeah. need, you need more proof if you're going to say that. Yeah. Like, how, yeah. why are you saying that? What did he do that makes no, you feel well, that way? Uh, I mean, I don't know what he what the proof was, but I think the proof was, like, you really not... You're saying this, but you're really not this. You're but really... you got to have a proof. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got to follow that up with, I, I saw this, and I saw... You know, yeah, well, I think, I think because his proof was using, like, he... Cause the white girls, like you, you like dating white women and uh, all this other yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's There's a lot of black doing. activists. That yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> which yeah. is a contradiction. That's to me, a contradiction. Because I'm like, how do you? Yeah, nah, I mean, I, I think that's a Doctor Umar though. part. I, I think some of the most activist black people like. White women. <laughs> <laughs> I think the weird thing about yeah, I, I think the word choice was bad, right? Like he yeah. said, you know, you're rapping like you're trying to free the slaves, like. Even if he had said you're rapping like you thought you freed the slaves, would still come off a little different. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, it's just, it, that was a bad line. I've but heard Kendrick flipped line. it on Not Like yeah. Us, exactly. which would made it worse. That, yeah. that, that whole breakdown of um, Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was none. That pocket Yikes. was crazy. You, that, I, but that's another thing. As I said this to my thinking about, like, in rap battles in general, the the self righteous person always beats the immoral person. It's never like it's never like yeah. something where somebody that is like, like, got some kind of knowledge of self. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Always gonna beat the person that the world thinks is like the most immoral person. I agree with you because like it's always harder to <laughs> battle the likable dude. Yeah, like when you're when you're because Drake is always um, I think y'all said it last episode yeah. like Drake is always uh, propped himself up as a villain anyway. Yeah. So it's like when you're kind of going against the hero or you know what I'm saying like we're kind of going to lean towards the hero. Like yeah. this is the guy who supports you know being married and having a family and and, and doing good stuff for the community. Yeah. yeah. Supports that versus you. It's all debauchery and all this stuff. So it's kind of like just off even if they didn't rap a word we're already leaning Kendrick. Yeah, you know that's saying? my thing. So, I think it's already a cultural bias. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because people just want sure. Drake to lose. They want Drake to win. Yeah. I'm, I'm not yeah. the biggest Drake proponent. I ain't trying to take your side or nothing, but I'm just looking at it from an unbiased yeah. perspective. Facts. People want Drake to lose. Even when I look at that line, you rapping like you're trying to take this, make the slaves free or whatever. I see how people can say it's a bad line, but all he was pretty much saying is you're trying to be super deep with your raps, but your lifestyle don't match it. Yeah. And that's what he was saying within the battle. But if you don't like Drake, you're going to take it as the worst possible thing that yeah. he ever yeah. said and make it worse. I'm a black man. Mm-hmm. I got two black parents. Like, I'm mm-hmm. a Negro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I heard that much, I knew what he was going yeah. with it. I yeah. wasn't necessarily offended yeah. by it. Yeah. I know the nature of rap battles. You know well, what you're not going to get offended by it because... He's um he's he's got black he's black but mm, you yeah. you're not gonna also think that it's a wise thing to say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If it was a white person, let's be honest, it's the elephant in the room. If it was a white person that said that, we, that it would be, be uproar. Yeah. yeah, but it's a yeah. black man saying it to another. But even though he Canadian, whatever, he black. Somebody from Africa. Yeah, you know, it's a black man saying it to another black man. I'm not really offended by that. It, it probably sounds ignorant to some people, and I can understand why they feel that I way. I think the setup the with the mo- the money tree setup, the money trees line. I think that was the setup for the like you trying to free the slaves. But it's yeah. like, I think like you trying to free the slaves was like, yo, you could have said anything yeah. else. Yeah. That was crazy. Like you know, even because even if you're black. It kind of comes from like, yo, why are you kind of like pooping on what he's doing? Like what he's trying to bring. Well, because he's not to. living what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not living. yeah. you beating. He's saying you're beating on your woman. Your your wife got the same background I got. Facts. You know what I'm saying? You're cheating like, on her with white women on top of that. Yeah. yeah. Like, so what lead do you have to stand Jeez. on to come and critic? He said you rapping but, like but, you're trying to yeah. set the slaves free, but you really behind the scenes. You really uh, shoot Uncle Tom. Probably. I just I just want to <laughs> get clear <laughs> though, who is black because. It, <laughs> It wasn't just this cultural stuff. It was, I have a problem with you saying the N-word. Yeah. So that means, yeah, like, yeah, I'm questioning your blackness. Yeah. yeah. So who's, a, who, like, who is black then? Like, <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm, just, yeah, I'm yeah. just trying to get it clear because <laughs> yeah. I, I, this past year, I found out a lot of people ain't black. If, if, you, <laughs> if, yeah, yeah. if you have to be 
both black parent, both black parents. I assume you got to do ancestry.com to make yeah, sure there's no white in there. Pure black. You got to you got to make sure that you grew up in a hood environment, I guess is a requirement yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. You have to be American. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so I'm out. Yeah, my, my family's yeah, not from here, so I'm out. That's what I'm saying. So, so who's family, still yeah. black here? You I'm still, still black? In, I'm still you good? <laughs> you yeah. from Atlanta? Yeah, yeah. My Grady, okay. Grady. I'm Atlanta. Okay. Native American. We went on Ancestry.com. Who we got, uh, <laughs> who, who's still my in? Family is from Ghana. That's hilarious. Who's still in? I want to see in the chat if you if you qualify. Yeah, like we who? were here first. We were native. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, yeah. Y'all came. I got a lot of Native American though too on my side. So now in Jamaican, I don't know if I'm still yeah. in there. I might be. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, my family's from Jamaica. We, we don't count anymore. Yeah, so we go even though we're from the same place. And exactly. like I've seen my grandmother's ancestors with like Indian garb, like chiefs. So yeah. you don't count yeah, because they yeah, used to yeah. enslave us too. <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> I guess I don't know. I, no, I I think um, I know my grandfather was Native American. Yeah, like my great grandfather. Yeah. So yeah. so I, I just well, we're originators. Out, it, listen, we're here. <laughs> listen, if we would have been outside, you black, bro. If you was gonna black, be outside bro. picking cotton, bro, you black. This, bro. this is black. what it. This is what troubles me about it is that <clears throat> we're fighting amongst each other on who's black and who's not exactly. black. Yeah. Bro. All y'all black to them, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why why are we fighting over that when when it the people that it that black term even was invented yeah. by, they just see you as black, black. Yeah, regardless. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, no, I'm black. Oh, I'm black. Yeah. I'm, what do you say? Well, I think are I we? think I think the thing problem is this. I think we gotta understand, we gotta redefine what culture vulture is. Cause I think we use that term too mm-hmm. loosely. Mm-hmm. For sure. You know what I'm saying? We use it against white people, we use it against ourselves. We use it against anybody that doesn't agree with what we think Absolutely. the culture should be run by. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we have to yeah. redefine what the culture, quote unquote, what is a culture vulture and what is the culture? I don't, because I don't, to yeah. me, because to me, black culture shouldn't be thugs the, and criminals. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. Why is that? Why is that a, being associated with with black? Yeah, yeah. gang yeah. activity, hood activity, yeah. having shady. So now records. we get yeah, now we get into the deeper convo because really. Black was a label that was put. That's a color. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's like, you listen to like Caucasian people, you don't just say, we say white because they call us black, but these people, they German, they Swiss, they this, this, yeah. and that. Yeah. We just say black. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. that's not who we are from the beginning. That's just something ignorant that we just got put on us anyway. A yeah. color. You know what I'm saying? Right. Which one of y'all are actually black? <laughs> Your skin is brown. Yeah. So, why are we, you know what I'm saying? So, when you get deeper into the psychology of it, yeah. that's something they put on us because dark, bad, evil. Yeah. You think black, you don't think positive. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? We try to reinvent it, but at the end of the day it was put on us because it was something negative to make yeah. us feel low about ourselves. Yeah, and unfortunately so now we are we arguing about who the most you know what I'm saying? Right. Like it's just crazy. Yeah, unfortunately, and then it's like um, with social media and stuff like that, we kinda cook the idea of what a black person lo- is supposed yeah. to be. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Cause like I, I think of it like like it's it's such a good point where it's like so is black being a hood dude. What about the people who's not from the hood? Mm-hmm. Like if I grew up in the suburbs, I'm not black now? Or like if I, you know what I'm saying? If I'm educated, am I like you know what I'm saying? Like that stuff is weird because it's kind of like not only is that not black culture, but we're perpetuating what uh, the people who created that you know that system yeah. were perpetuating what they already had. So it's like mm-hmm. it's just like the same thing as like back in the day, not as much today, but like back in the day, like yo, if you loved <laughs> anime or you were a nerd or whatever, yeah, then, then you're when, not black. you got pushed yeah, out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like yeah. that don't make sense. It's like yo, this is a black person. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think the culture should stem from okay, what is our experiences and where are we coming from, rather than yo, do I fit a certain mold? You it it should it should be celebrated that black can mean so many different. Yes, things. Yeah, exactly. It should be yeah. celebrated that we come from all types of places. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't be you shouldn't be like hip checked on whether you had this specific type of past, Word. and that it gives you the license to do this and that. I. That's shocking to me. That that's that's the that's the. Yeah, yeah, isn't it main. like your dad? Like whatever whatever color your dad was, that's who bloodline you have. I mean, yeah. isn't that pretty much how it goes? Yeah. That's what I heard. Yeah, listen, yeah, bro. But I mean, yeah. if you black, you black. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying that how they say it goes. But I think like, it. I think it um comes down to like perception too, right? Like mm-hmm. we talk about police. That everybody who's not Caucasian is going to be labeled black. Yeah. That's not br- uh, you know brown or black. Um, in that sense, because. That's how we start off, you know, looking from that lens. Like, mm-hmm. okay, they see us as black, so now we know yeah. who's black and you, who's you, not. You band together with the right. people who have been right. offended the same right. way. Yeah. And I think when you talk about culture wars or you talk about culture vultures, I think it's people who try to fit into a pocket that they know they're not a part of. Yeah. And it's like you're, you're trying so hard to be something that you're not. Um, 
And I think that's that's where the big issue is. But, you know, when it comes down to these beef battles, it's always a contrast between the artists. You know, when mm. T.I. and Ludacris were beefing, it was like, well, Ludacris is an international guy. He's, you know, um, a crossover artist. T.I. is Atlanta. T.I. is the South. Like, so I feel like these beefs are always going to have one person on one side feeling one way and the other person on one side feeling the other way. So 50 percent divide, just mm. like politics. It is what it is. Yeah. It's I, never going to be fair. And with the culture vulture thing. I do think Drake has a level of culture vulture in him, but I don't think it's it's due to race. I yeah, think it's, it's due probably to, with that Canadian tag it, on him. Because, like, bro, dude literally would go and pick up an accent somewhere. <laughs> like, yo, yeah. this is my new vibe. Yeah. Like, So th- from that perspective, <laughs> I, I think that's where, I think, like, musically. You think that's what he's being called. Right. Okay. But, like, from a race standpoint, I don't see how you do that with a black man. Like, that doesn't make yeah, sense he, to me. Yeah, he, he's, his reputation, and but but he's not the only one. Yeah. There's mm-hmm. a lot of yeah. people, I'm not going to say names, yeah. you know from being Miami, yeah. people will go to Miami, mm-hmm. steal yes. records from people, yeah. mm-hmm. and then go back and act like it's theirs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, for sure. Mm. They will I, steal your record. They'll be like, oh, yeah, they yeah, play that, play that, Troy. That's hot. Yeah. Okay. But well, that's anywhere, Sean. Okay. But that's mm. what I'm saying. <laughs> but Drake has been the king of that. Yeah. Like, un, like, obviously, he does that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Where he just steals. That yeah, exactly. That's all I was trying to say. <laughs> he, said, he, was, he, was, he was like, I ain't trying to say it. But, um, um, but, me, I'm but that's anybody. Me. I mean, I, I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I would say this. I would say that I think using Jay-Z, for example, Jay-Z knew how to get continue to be hot by okay let me let me get on UGK record let me get UGK on a record let me get on high by juvenile let me do this let me get let me do regional records mm. that's you know what i'm saying so i'm like if we talking about hip hop i just think it's different to say if i if if i'm a dude from new york and i'm like hot right now and i'm like i'm looking down i'm like yo that playing james dude is fire let me collab with him I'm not thinking like, yo, Plain James gonna give me street cut. I'm just saying, I like Plain James. Let's let's work. But see, that's the difference. You collabed with him, yeah. So it was like, you know, I scratch your back, you scratch my back, kind of, kind of scenario. Yeah. Versus like, yo, I'm gonna take this sound. Yeah. And then I'm going to popularize it in my sector. I'm, go- I'm going like, to befriend you mm-hmm. only for the purposes of keeping my self alive in this yeah. game. But that's what I'm saying. That's what everybody does. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. everybody. That's All not just one person. That. Yeah, who so, smart but he's yeah. done it so many times that he has now developed a bad rap. Yeah. And I think that's no, that's his issue now. Right? Who who could you who could you look at aside from Drake? That literally, like, I kid you not, bro is studying accents. I've never seen that before. <laughs> where it's like, yo, depending on the room is depending on the accent. Yeah. I know people like, who do that. I gonna yeah. say yeah. We, we'll keep this. <laughs> 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 Let's that's move crazy. on. Let's move yeah. on. Let's <laughs> 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 